Oh, ho, ho, ho. the convenience of technology, right? A swipe here, a touch there, and zing, life is easier. Not so fast. Honestly, technology is sometimes just one big inconvenience. <laughs> Take, for instance, that useful tool, autocorrect. It fixes our grammar and spelling so that we don't have to spend all that time consulting dictionaries and such. And it helps us write those perfect texts our favorite English teacher would be so proud of. What well, could be better, right? Wrong. I don't know about yours, but the thing my autocorrect loves to do is overcorrect. <laughs> Just the other day, I was writing a cover letter to Mr. Coffle. Not your everyday last name, so I carefully typed C-O-F-F-E-L. What I didn't notice was that my ever-so-helpful autocorrect changed it to Mr. Coffee. <laughs> so my perfect cover letter now started Dear Mr. Coffee. <laughs> Guess who didn't get an interview for that job? <laughs> and then there's voice recognition. I talk and my phone types. Easy, right? Well, it would be easy if my phone actually recognized what I'm saying but it doesn't understand me. Get this, I was in the mood to go out last Saturday, so I told my phone, find Megan. No problem, her number came up right away. Then I said, hi there, I'd really like to go out for a romantic dinner with you. Where should we go? Send text, zing. My text rocketed through space. And Megan immediately wrote back wanting to go out with me, right? Wrong again, because what Megan received was this lovely message. I'd really like to go out for a romantic dinner with Sue. Where should we go? I don't even know a woman named Sue, but Megan wouldn't give me a chance to explain. So you can guess again. Yep, Megan and I did not go out for that dinner. So that brings me to another so-called useful tool, autofill. You just type the start of a name and the computer or smartphone automatically fills in the rest. Convenient, right? Wrong again. I don't know about your phones, but mine never fills in the right information. <laughs> Remember my dateless Saturday night? Well, instead of feeling sorry for myself, I decided to invite my friend Drew to dinner. Of course, I decided not to send a text using voice recognition after my problem with Megan. <laughs> so, I did it the safe way. I typed in his name, D, R, and the phone filled in the rest. Great! Then I typed, hey, let's go out to dinner. Westside Cafe, 8 o'clock, I'll pay. He texted back immediately. I'm in, thanks. Perfect. So, I headed out and got on the subway. When I got off the subway, I noticed 10 other friends had texted me saying they could come. What? Well, instead of filling in Drew's number, my phone had filled in Drama Club, a group contact I have with all the numbers of my Drama Club friends. All 20 people in the group got the message, and 10 actually showed up. Guess who bought dinner for 10 friends? Ah, yes, the convenient world of technology. A swipe here, a touch there, auto this, auto that, and this guy has no job interview, no Megan, and no money. <laughs> the convenience of technology? Listen to a comedian talk about problems he had with technology. Write the types of technology and the problems he mentions in the chart. Listen again. What examples does he give of how the problems affected him? Complete the chart.